Hey guys, welcome back to Open Source Outlaw. Today I'm taking a look at a Maze File Manager. This is an open source project, um, so you have full access to the code behind the app uh, to see if there's anything fishy going on, which as far as I can tell there is not. Um, I just made the switch from ES File Manager um, today um, because I've been reading online that there are some pretty big gaping holes uh, security-wise in ES File Explorer. Um, that would allow for um, data to be copied out, um, more specific uh, personal information like uh, passwords and account names, um, especially when you try to add uh, st uh, cloud storage accounts to the, fi uh, the ES File Explorer. Um, so I've gone ahead and made the switch over to a Maze File Manager. Um, it's really simple to use. Um, I'm going to open it right now. You get this nice lollipop theme very basic setup um, really not a whole lot to it you can change the theme the default theme is in the settings so here you got your interface you can change the skin you can change the theme this is what came pre-installed when you first install the app I prefer the dark skin however over the light skin it also probably saves me a lot of battery um, there's really not a whole lot to the settings. You've got everything that's really important that you would need for a file uh, manager. Uh, you can hide folders, hide files. Um, you can customize the navigation. Uh, you've got an extract for zip files. Um, you've got a root explorer to get to your root files, but that's already enabled by default, even though that this is not ticked. I'll show you that in just a minute. So I've head back here and actually I'm already in the root area um, it's a drop down menu so generally you'll be set up uh, at this menu when you first launch the app um, and if you want to head to root you just do the drop down menu hit root and then you're in the root uh, file uh, you've accessed the root files I'm gonna go back to zero and then here along the side you've got your storage your SD card and then they give you a couple preset folders. I'm sure you can change these. These are all for your internal memory. Um, this is your camera, obviously. Then you get your downloads folder, your movies folder, your music and pictures folder. You've also got an app manager down at the bottom as well as a bookmarks manager. I haven't actually used any of these yet. I'm going to go ahead and launch the apps manager. And there we go. It seems like I can probably just delete a lot of these apps if I wanted to delete them. Um, let's go ahead and click on Crackle. Yeah, so look, I can open, backup, uninstall, properties, and Play Store. So it gives you a few little extra options. Um, I really enjoyed this app a little bit more than I enjoyed ES File Explorer. It cut out a lot of the bullshit that I actually didn't really use with ES File Explorer, like all the networking settings and all of the cloud storage settings. I never, ever used any of that that stuff that was part of VS File Explorer. Um, the reason being is that if I have to have any files, I mean, if I need any kind of networking or anything, I'm more likely to drop my files onto um, a Google Drive than I am going to try to set up a networking between my computer and my tablet. Um, also, I have cloud storage apps, so I don't really need to link that into my File Explorer anyway. Um, so that's about it for a maze file manager. Again, this is open source, so there is no paid version. There is no adverts. And again, you can get a full look at the code that's um, behind the app in case you uh, are very, very paranoid and need to make sure that it's not copying out your personal information, which I can understand. This is, however, open source outlaw, so... <laughs> I can't sympathize. Um, again, guys, if this file manager um, helped you out, if this video was a help, please like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel. There will be future app reviews, and there will be ROM reviews uh, for the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 12.2. Uh, there may be some ROM reviews coming up for different devices. I'm looking at uh, purchasing a Samsung Galaxy S 8.4 um, so that could be coming in the next few weeks and I could be doing some ROM reviews for that um, again stay tuned and thanks for tuning in